I started this painting on a black background that I painted. It wasn't a black canvas. And I first uh, chalked in with a white pastel, but you could also use chalkboard chalk for this. Uh, so I used white chalk pastel and transferred my drawing onto the canvas. I am now adding the red with a color shaper brush. It's about one and a half inches wide and I'm blocking in the colors of the base here. I first started this painting on my iPad in an app and figured out what I wanted to do and then I freehand sketched it onto the canvas. I've switched up my color here to uh, Burnt Sienna and again I'm still using the color shaper. I'm trying to maintain those chalk lines as well to be part of the finished painting. Now I've switched to a smaller brush, a one inch flat, just to be able to get into the areas a little bit easier than with the color shaper. Adding some red up further into the painting here. Adding some more red on top just to make it richer. So when you're working with a black background, you need to use opaque paint. The transparent paint really isn't going to show, at least not the true color of it like it would on white. Here I'm just cleaning my brush on another canvas. This will be a start to one of my messy background paintings. I'm putting in the light details now, the white of the collar, the cuff, and putting in light details to mark out the, the hand shape as well. So if you think of everything as just a shape, it is so much easier, especially when it comes to hands. If you can break them down into their simplest shape, that will give you a good um, indication of what a hand looks like. You don't need to put in so much detail. I like to make sure that the proportion of my head is correct as well because if it's too small or too large it can put the figure off so it's about seven to one seventh to one eighth of the um, body so just keeping that in mind I'm using a gray color now just to put in some shadows. This is the first time I've actually worked on a black canvas and it is quite different than my normal process. I feel it's important though to try different things and just see how they go, what you can take from it, even if you go back to your normal process. I may push this painting in another direction using the same image and drawing. I may start it on a messy background. 
I may start it on a different colored background. Uh, so many different ways that you could explore the same imagery, adding collage, adding text, ascetic writing in the background, and just explore all the options without changing the actual image. It's fun to explore and try out different things. This is really how, how we learn and how your style is developed. I like figuring out things on my iPad before I start a painting often. This just gives me a bit of a roadmap to go on, especially when I'm painting intuitively. If I've done some of the connection with the background first, it's really helpful. So I'm going to leave the background black in this painting just for dramatic sake and I hope you enjoyed watching it. Mm -hmm.